Hello, Scorpio. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and I do hope everyone's doing well this week. Now, this is your intuitive tarot reading for the week of June 6th through the 12th, 2022, and thank you so much for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, help support my channel. So let's take a look at the cards and energies for your week ahead, and Scorpio, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings, so just take what resonates. All right, Scorpio, first card, ho, oh, the Nine of Cups, excellent. Next, the Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Your overall energy for the week, the Three of Cups. Crystal for the week is Aqua Aura. And your Oracle message for the week ahead is Fork in the Road. Okay, Scorpio, wow. Okay. You're going to be making a decision this week. You're going to be making the best choice for yourself, regardless of what anybody else has to say about it. There's an indication here that you are in almost what I'm going to say, like the perfect element for you having control this week. So if there is something that you've been holding back on, like making a decision, a choice, like in regards to anything, this is the week where you're going to decide, am I going to go left? Am I going to go right? Am I staying where I'm at? You're going to be making a decision, a choice. So first, taking a look at your overall energy here, you have the Three of Cups. And Scorpio, I read intuitively. Now, even though the Three of Cups, uh, it is a celebratory card, I'm just picking up the message here with the hoops that you are not wanting to have to jump through hoops to get to what it is you want. So, there, it, like it could be in regards to obtaining a, a job, obtaining a home, uh, a relationship or a friendship. You don't want to jump through any hoops. Now, the numerology here with the card remains the same. Number three, there's something new that's coming in this week, Scorpio. It's coming together for you. And you're not wanting to deal with, and I don't really want to say the word games, but you don't want to play any kind of games. But there are certain aspects that are very similar to, yeah, like you have to play the game in order to get what you want. And you're not wanting to jump through the hoops. And I see you holding your ground on this, Scorpio. I see you succeeding, not having to play like uh, other, other people's games. And you've got the help of some people around you, either supporting you or actually assisting you in some manner. So Three of Cups definitely as an overall energy is going to be helping you out this week with what it is you're going after. Your first card here is the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. This is getting what you want, Scorpio. I pick up that energy. This is the Wish Fulfillment card. This is just feeling on top of the world. And if you don't have it as of yet when this week begins, you will very soon maybe by the end of the week. Nine of Cups can also be putting your wish, your desire out into the universe. Almost like if you did like a vision board or if you have a reminder that you see every day for what it is you truly want. This nine numerology is, a, is um, like one of review. So it's kind of like there's something, and you might have already done this, where let's say you have pictures of how you want your life to be. 
special person in your life, maybe a good job, a beautiful home. You have these things that you're constantly looking at, reviewing. And that's what this Nine of Cups is an indication of, where you're going to succeed. You're going to get your wish fulfilled because you're focusing so much intent and positive energy towards it. And you do have to take some steps, like action-wise as well. But very nice start to your reading here. Now, the Knight of Wands. Well, interesting that you are actually going through one hoop, but it's going to be one of your own choosing. So the Knights are all about movement and change and making progress. So some of you could be moving. You could be traveling. This is actually Sagittarius's card in energy. It's one of being very versatile, open-minded, very enthusiastic, independent. And there could be something like at the last moment that makes you decide there's a key element where you might have to, how we say, jump through one hoop in order to get what it is you're going after but you're doing it with fires blazing. So very adventurous, passionate kind of energy coming off of this card. So I definitely feel even though uh, this is such a fiery energy and you're a water sign, Scorpio, this is you just being triumphant, being successful. You're going after what it is that you want. And certainly that can be the same thing as being tied to the Nine of Cups here energy. This is like your wish coming true. Next, you have the Nine of Wands. And the wands are all represented by these cuts that have been sewn up on this individual. And that is your battle scars. You might say what you've been through, your experiences, what you've learned. And once again, this is a nine energy where by reviewing something over and over again, I feel like you're gaining new insight into how you're going to be able to like get through this hoop and get what you want, Scorpio. Because what I was intuitively picking up for your overall energy here is you're not doing things in the traditional way. You're refusing to jump through all these hoops that are being suggested. This is like outside forces saying you have to do this and, and you have to go through this and this and this and you're saying, no, I'm not doing that. So there is a lot of review going on before you're actually coming to making this choice or decision. You're really standing up for yourself here, Scorpio. So I love this energy that's coming in for you this week. And your crystal for the week ahead, Aqua Aura. And it does say healthy communication in relationships. And this could be anybody that you're dealing with this week. Could be there was a block of communication. And we just came out of being in Mercury retrograde. That could have previously slowed everything down from happening. So now, especially with this crystal card showing up, it looks like it's going to be uh, jumping right in, so to speak. This is an indication that previously you were kind of like misunderstood by others, and that energy seems to be gone. You are just being your true authentic self, and you're doing things your way. Now, your oracle message for the week ahead is fork in the road. Totally makes sense with your reading. This is all about that you need to make a decision. You're looking at all aspects. If you go left, if you go right, if you go forward, if you stay where you're at, you're looking at everything, Scorpio. And that's why you have so much um, nine, number nine energy, because that is reviewing everything that's like right in front of you you're not going to let other people around you make the choice for you. It's going to be strictly you, Scorpio. 
And what I'm picking up is that you really can't choose a wrong direction because whichever direction you choose is what you truly want. So if it's in regards to relationships, you're going to succeed. If it's in regards to a job, maybe a new job, a new company, you're going to love what you're going to be doing. It is indicating here, time for a change. Change is needed. This is going to help your circumstances and your lifestyle, your future. There's like an abundance all around you this week, Scorpio, an indication here to really trust in your intuition this week. Just one warning here with this fork in the road. If you hover, if you're reluctant to make a decision, you're going to be giving your power away. And you're still going to be caught in that same type of energy that you have been in, not making any kind of progress. So definitely need to make a decision this week. Now, let's take a look at your Tealy Fortune card. And you have Throne, Position of Authority. Well, I already picked up that you really can't, you, you really can't see it on this card but this throne is really high above the ground and there is, you can't really see it, but there is a set of stairs leading up to the throne. So there's an indication you are definitely going to be taking steps this week to move in the right direction. And it's going to be on your turn, Scorpio. So whether it's your job, a new home, relationship, some other goal or desire. Very good energy, especially with this Nine of Cups energy where you're going to have success. You're going to be feeling quite fulfilled and happy. Well, there you have it, Scorpio. That was your messages and guidance from Spirit, from the cards that you received this week. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, and for a private tarot card reading one-on-one, -on -one, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Scorpio family.